请收看《维新世界》，义工利人天。Among the other temples that were founded、uh, at this time、uh, is the、uh, Wohin、uh, Society Hall, located in Lahana, on Maui. It was erected in 1912 as a multifunctional hall to serve the plantation workers on the island. The temple was located on the second、uh, was located on the second floor, with Guan Di as the major deity. Abandoned in 1940 as the Chinese population in Maui declined, it was restored and subsequently reopened、uh, in 1984 as a museum. Unfortunately, it was lost a couple of months ago when the whole city of Lahana was destroyed in the fire, which I'm sure you saw on the news. New York was another place where.、Uh, Uh, traditional Chinese religion began to appear toward the end of the 19th century. Following the Chinese Exclusion Act, uh, uh, American Chinese living in the western part of the United States began to move across the country, and they found an area on southern Manhattan that be, that became what is still to this day Chinatown, Man Manhattan's Chinatown. And here, the first joss houses in New York were erected. These two buildings that you see here are both joss houses, two different joss houses next to each other. They're located on Mott Street.、Uh, there were other joss houses that、uh, this one on Pell Street、uh, survived. This particular picture is part of a.、Uh, Uh, a whole trend that went on in New York in the early 20th century, called slumming.、Uh, Chinatown,、uh, by the 1920s in New York, had become、uh, a place where rumors collected of、uh, gang wars, of murders.、Uh, it was an area of relative poverty uh, to uh, Midtown New York. And、uh, wealthy New Yorkers would come to Chinatown and take tours. Here's where the murder occurred. Here's where the gang war、uh, was fought out, and then stay to enjoy some Chinese dining. But、uh, because of the slummers,、uh, there were pictures taken of Chinatown and sold as postcard souvenirs. And so that much of our records of this early era in Chinatown is due to the、uh, popular craze.、Uh, oh God, I, I got to get finished here. Uh, all right. Uh, 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 the other place where you get some uh, uh, survival is in the、uh, is in San Francisco. Interestingly enough, because of the 1906 uh, earthquake. The、uh, temples, the early joss houses, which are on the floor, are、uh, were became part of high rises. And today, if you walk around、uh, Chinatown, almost all of the joss houses are three and four and five stories up in the air.、Uh, 
because of the change of immigration laws that began in the 1940s, because China was an ally of the United States in World War II, immigration of Chinese began again after some 70 years of uh, uh, being denied. And uh, as Chinese populations grew, a whole new set of temples have arisen. Uh, along with the changes that occur in 1965 is, are the changes that occur at the end of the Vietnam War, when a large number of Vietnamese were admitted by special legislation into the country. Many of those who came were from the Chinese community of Saigon, and generally all of Vietnam, but particularly Saigon the Hoa people, as they're called. And many of the new temples that have been built were built particularly by the Hoa people. Here are two of them. These are the ones in El Monte, California, and the one in LA. You can see that they are uh, have a resemblance to each other. Uh, uh, the LA temple is, ac is actually a, uh, birthed off of the uh, El Monte temple. Uh, they are both very, very impressive uh, works of art. A second place that uh, they developed was in uh, Texas. This is a large temple uh, built primarily by people from Hong Kong, as best I've been able to find out, but also by the Hoa people. In, uh, uh, this is a temple dedicated to the Jade Emperor. And this is a temple I've just visited uh, that came from Taipei. Uh, the uh, couple, a, a brother and a sister, founded this temple dedicated to the Golden Mother. It is uh, an attempt to uh, establish in New York what is uh, the Golden Mother Temple uh, in uh, Taipei, which I uh, got to visit a couple of days ago. Uh, here is the, the second floor of the, of the New York uh, Golden Mother Temple. You can see the 60 deities to the uh, 60 deities of the year of the Chinese calendar. And this is the only one of the new Taoist temples I've found that uh, have statues to the three pristine ones. Uh, this work of putting together this history has almost all been done since the beginning of this century. Um, I offer up two books here that uh, are the uh, 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 prime references to, the, to this work. It is just beginning uh, to put together this history, um, and hopefully we will have it done uh, before, t before I pass from this life. <laughs> um, so thank you. Okay, our next speaker is from Romania and is Sherban Tolado and he's, uh, he teaches at the University of Russia and he's going to tell us about the first and only Buddhist temple in the Romanian capital and he has entitled his talk, you see it here, neither for nor Dao but both exploring and he gives the name of the temple so uh you want to remain in that corner okay yes, go ahead this is the fifth slide actually uh, the title of a paper i wrote uh, some years ago and published three years ago in occasional papers on religion in Eastern Europe. So my presentation is based on that article with some added, new added information. So we should go now to back to the first. First, some information about the Chinese in Romania compared which, to what we have seen, what happened in the States uh, with four million, four million Chinese people. Now we see only 7,000 people, Chinese residents, plus around 2,000 ethnic Chinese with Romanian citizenship, which are different to the ones that have just 
permit. And this was uh, constant, constant figures in recent three years, and the community was established after uh, the fall of the communist regime. So now we have a third generation emerging, and the large majority lives in the second district, please. Um, this is Bucharest, and the second district, yeah, right around this, among six, the, yes, second district of six, six districts with a population of three million people. And uh, why is like this? The situation is like this. This is because there is a, not just one um, wholesale market in that area, yeah, very linked with uh, the, the Chinese community. Uh, and now it is not very clear. We have too, ma too many colors here. This is the market, yeah, the place where the market is. And this is where the temple, I call it a Chinese temple because there is uh, such a confusion that people see Buddhas or Kuan Yin's and think they are Buddhist. And actually it is a Chinese temple. I think this is the term, yeah, a Chinese temple. And about the market, yeah, we see here the Chinese have the smallest prices. They use this stereotype as a co successful commercial. And now again back to the abstract. This was the abstract of uh, the article. This is actually what I should finish with. Uh, they, neither Buddhist nor Taoist, but both, or, or even more, exploring the whole of infinite principle. I translate it like this, like Kuang Li, my translation, very subjective, Kuang Li Fo Tang, the Chinese temple, in uh, the singular Chinese temple, actually, in the Romanian capital, which belongs to uh, syncretism, Maitreya Great Tao, Mila Ta Tao, and we can find their uh, elements from Buddhist Taoism, Taoism and Confucianism, Confucianism too. And it's no secret that they are all intertwined and so on. It is a messianic uh, and a missionary movement, uh, which also appears as an ultra sinicide version of Buddhism that actually ceases to call itself, itself Buddhist or Taoist or identify as a, as a religion because it is called Tao and the name is translate Maitreya Great Tao, yeah? It is not a Tiao. And it is expressing a role of spiritual supra, so superstructure in which every, every person, uh, member of any religion, and we can find this in other movements, may find their place on earth and eventually and in, uh, in the end, the salvation. Research on Milo Tatao itself uh, is scarce, but not, it is not the same uh, regarding the Iquan Tao. Everybody knows Iquan Tao, but nobody talks about Iquan Tao in Milo Tatao. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a secret. You can ask about Iquan Tao, but nobody told me until I found out from someone else that it was uh, very, it has links with Iquan Tao. If we open the official site, we'll find, we'll, we'll not find, we will not find uh, information about Milo Tao as originating from Iquan Tao. Um, and about the mission from the same website, we can see um, its mission being the, to fulfill Milo or Matreya's desire to transform the earth into a paradise on earth. Yeah, and uh, uh, Hou Tian, the postnatal world, it is not meant to be uh, abandoned. Instead, the, uh, a new culture will install on earth, will be established on earth, above any cultural uh, differences, language, and so on. So the goal, the final goal is uh, one, the world as one family, and this is, uh, seems to be a lifetime mission for the members. 
So I went there, let's call this a kind of UN fund, yeah? I went there to uh, interview some workers, Chinese workers in, uh, in uh, Bucharest, and someone told me there, there is a temple. I didn't know that. There is a Chinese temple there. So I went for the workers and I found the temple. Um, this was in 2010, three years after the temple was uh, founded in 2007. Uh, there was also a shrine, a small shrine, a private shrine uh, from uh, two, uh, the year 2000 to 2007, not accessible actually. Now the temple is a public place. So I, since that time, since my first time, my first visit, I acted as a translator, I participated in documenting the place with interviews, photos and videos this time. And how about the surroundings, the neighborhood? It is like something that was 40 years ago. It was like countryside in New Bucharest. Yeah, you, you could see uh, cows, uh, yeah, and on pastures. Uh, and it's it's developing, but looks still looks like uh, uh, country. You can see country uh, houses. Uh, this is who went to Romania will know what I mean and in southern Romania, yeah. And uh, despite the missionary uh, element in uh, Maitreya, Great Tao, um, there seems to be no chance to make new adepts among the surrounding community because people are cons conservative. They help, yeah, they help. Uh, they can be nice with uh, people from the temple, but they will never change their religion. Uh, so they will preserve their Christi or Christian Orthodox one, but still respecting the, um, the temple and the people from the temple. So they have good neighbor-like uh, relation or neighbor-like relationships. So this is a gate, you see, a, a house with just one ground floor. One can see uh, here, Kuang Li Fo Tang, so I translated Kuang as, a, as infinite. And after the gate, um, and more about the space, um, and we'll see, we'll see this soon, a house with a ground floor on the left side. This is the private section of the temple, about 200 square meters, uh, and Kuan Yin Shrine in front, we'll see this. And the ceremony hall on the right side, built after. And in front, the kitchen, the canteen, where common meals take place, and annexes, and so on. And in the end, it forms a, a U-shaped compound with a patio inside. And it resembles, but just in a, conceptually, with a classic residence, yeah, with closed on three sides, yeah. And this is uh, Kuan Yin is just behind this incense urn which belongs to Yuan Tati, and we'll see soon. Yes, this is the private section, kitchen, and the main hall, we'll see this soon. And after this brief description, to some people's disappointment, this is not a meditation space, like the Westerners may expect some, yeah, practice, practice place, Zen, meditation, Tai Chi, and so on. And um, the key person I interviewed is Xu, uh, Xu H, the priestess, so which is Tian Chuan Shi, and also Ting Li, a manager. So she can initiate. She has the mandate to initiate people, and she also she's also the manager of the place, of the temple. And she says Chan Buddhism, Zen Buddhism is also at the roots of. Mila Tatao, but this is not a meditation and will never be 
a meditation place, a place to, you know, tatsu and practice things, Taoist things, or Buddhist things. And um, something that is not very visible, the, um, the supreme uh, deity is the venerable, sorry for the mistake, venerable mother, Lao Mu, called in Chinese. We can see Maitreya Buddha and his big belly yeah, in front, but we'll never see uh, an anthropomorphic representation of the mother. Like the golden mother, mother you see. Um, and there are also two on signs, uh, symbols only like moon and sun for the founders, uh, Zhang, uh, Zhang Tianran and Sun Yuehui, Shi Tsun and Shu Mu representing the sun and the moon and yin and yang. And also, um, I'll skip this, yes, uh, we'll see, maybe we'll see. Uh, yes, this is the symbol for a venerable uh, mother, Lao Mu, which is, should be very familiar to uh, people uh, that uh, knows uh, about Iquan Tao. Symbols, symbols, statues, and many things are the same, but what is different actually? Uh, sometimes the mother is called Shangti, like um, the same term used, as everybody knows, used in, uh, for the Christian god, Shangti. Um, and uh, it is female, a female god, a female uh, creator, creatrice, yeah, so we may uh, uh, connect her figure with Niwa maybe, or Siwang Mu, or, or other mythological or Taoist um, goddesses, characters, but I don't think there is any thread, yeah, like coming from Siwang Mu or Niwa, but just choosing a generic mother goddesses, skipping all, all the steps. So a deity can, that can be ancient and also modern before and beyond any religion. religion. Uh, she also, the priestess also hints the matriarchal system as a basis, also skipping all, all the steps or evolution of uh, Chinese pantheon. Uh, she mentions the pictograph that exists, existed in uh, Jiaku, an uh, ancient writing, found in, uh, as an archaeological fact. So it does not specifically belong to Buddhism or Taoism. And other, about other uh, gods, we'll see Kuan Yin. And, uh, also, Tuti Kung, we'll see, uh, Tuti, we found Tuti Kung, a small statue of Tuti Kung in the temple. And Quan Ti, by accident, probably, because uh, the temple, people of the temple avoid to express, uh, to show many gods. They are expressed by voice, but never expressed by uh, statues. And this is all that seems to cover the matters of visi visible pantheon. <laughs> So what's the difference between, uh, between uh, Iquan Tao and Mileta Tao? These are many, there are many details. We can see here Tian Pan, uh, things, concepts like this. <coughs> um, Maitreya um, is a missionary, a, 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 a messiah called sometimes a messiah. Uh, of he has the a mandate from Lao Mu, and uh, sorry, I'm not I'm not feeling very good. May I stop here, or well, can you hmm? give one more conclusion? Yeah. No. Oh. Just one word. 
let's see more Kuan Yin and people from the temples, not the priestess here, not in, in any picture of mine. So, yes, idols, as I said before, they uh, avoid expressing, uh, showing uh, idols, statues uh, yeah, of God. Yeah. The mission again. Okay, nothing about Ikuan Tao. More. Veganism. Yeah, excuse me. I didn't, didn't manage very well the time, so I. <laughs> Yeah, I will end uh, with uh, a picture of the main hall during a day of ceremonial day, a liturgical day, like first of the lunar calendar or the fifth of the lunar calendar. Yeah, where we can see tens of people coming. You, we can also find temples in Europe in some uh, capitals like Budapest, Vienna, Paris and Barcelona. And about the resources, yeah. Edward Irons, a uh, professor who express he's expressing very clearly, yeah, the root of Mila Tatao. Yeah, it is called a Tao. Yeah, it is a way. So. Concepts like religion, sectarianism, new religious movements, are they suitable to translate concepts such as Tao or Tiao? Or should we just leave them untranslated as Milata Tao did? My Treya Great Tao. So thank you everyone. Sorry. I was just a little bit I was just a little bit panicked to see too much, not very interesting to tell. And the time running off. So thank you everyone.